Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We are back in the studio and we have a very special guest here today. She is from another Keller Williams agency. It is called Keller Williams Philadelphia, of course. And uh, she's here because I call her the social media rock star. She's not only a rock star agent, but she's also a social media rock star. Rock star, not store. That was interesting, right? Juliana Gainsburg, how in the world are you doing? I'm doing good. After an hour Great. and 20 minute ride, I'm here. <laughs> From F- Philly or Philadelphia? I mean, locationally, you can say either, but office say either. it's Philadelphia. Right off the bat, do you like cheesesteaks? Uh, yes. Do okay. I like cheesesteaks? Yes. Which one's your favorite? Angelo, South Philly. There we go. Water. Very cool. See, that's funny. I'm either Tony Luke's or okay. Jim's. All right, as long as you don't say Pastor Gina, no, it's fine. No, no, I think both of those are terrible. But we will never say that on the air, of course. That would be horrible to say something like that. I'll say it. All right, so no, you have a podcast called Realtor-ish, and that's kind of how I found you. I found you through the social media webs, and uh, you're doing a fantastic job. I mean, you're getting noticed. You are on TikTok, you're on Instagram, and you know, I, I, this, this podcast really intrigued me because it's very laid back. Yeah. It's called Realtor-ish, which I thought was really funny. Tell me, how how did you go from being a realtor into the podcast thing? Yeah, So um, I got licensed in July 2019, and from the start, I was 20 years old. There's no marketing budget. Wait, did you say July 2019? Yeah. Okay, so that's really close to COVID happening. Oh, yeah. I've we got to talk about everything. that then. Okay, so let's talk about how you started, and then we'll get into that. Okay. I didn't have a marketing budget okay. because I was 20 years old and that just wasn't a thing. Um, so I focused on things that were free and one of those were just the use of social media. Good. And so my business was primarily built on perception. Um, I Very used good. other people's open houses. I shadowed people. I marketed other listings. Um, I was going to classes and taking pictures at all the different things that I did with Keller Williams. And so the social media route led me to podcasting, right? So right. like I... About a year ago, I started f- recording a podcast um, at my apartment or in my office um, with a friend that was also in the industry. And we did like four or five episodes and I just, I wasn't in love with the process. Yeah. I didn't want to edit it. It wasn't the quality Was it the same name? Did you start that name? No, no. we were, we were known for going places together. Like okay. We were always at places together. We're okay. both realtors in Bucks County. And this one mortgage lender called us the kw chicks and so like i love it we always you should have that should have been the name of the of the podcast right yeah well Uh, as much as i love keller williams uh, yeah you're not not gonna give them that much credit right yeah yeah exactly so that we ran with that for a little bit and we never released any of them and she just decided it wasn't something that she wanted to do anymore and so i kind of like gave it up and i just kept focusing on my business so I kept doing the social media and then, you know, selling more houses. I was more focused on the city. And once my social media started to grow, I'm like, all right, I never shut up. And I want to look for more ways to produce income or monetize my content. So why not, you know, do the podcast? And I actually didn't really commit to doing that until somebody I knew introduced me to someone else. And that person's partner is the one who owns the studio that oh, I interesting. record in. Yeah. So it was kind of like, it all kind of happened. And they're like, oh yeah, we have this studio. You should come check it out. We They do, um the one of the businesses is like a solar company that also oh, yeah. does like trainings. Yeah. And so they record their trainings out of the studio and they were like, we should talk about, you know, we should collaborate in some way. And so before we even got to that, yeah. I was like, wait, actually, I'm just going to start doing my own podcast. There you go. And and you've been doing it since then. I mean, so that was, I'm on five podcasts. I started like right before Christmas. Okay. Like maybe November of I 2020 recording. or 2019. Did you do it right away or was this the podcast? Yeah. The podcast has been out for like four months. Oh, it's only four months. Oh my gosh. I thought I, it was out since the beginning. No, oh no, my no. goodness. I just started this. I dropped the first one. January 7th or December Good 7th? for you. That's awesome. December 7th is the yeah, first one. So very cool. So we release cool. it on first, every first Wednesday and third Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And I started recording them in 
around Thanksgiving, and I like to keep. So you kind of back them up. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do too. It makes it a little bit easier that yeah. way. So I've only started doing that in the past right. couple months. That is amazing. And what's funny too is is um you know being in the business for a while for me, you you came into the business, and social media is already at this amazing height. So did you learn it for real estate, or did you already know it? So just to get this out of the way, I yeah. was born in 1999. Holy shit. So <laughs> I was only had three years of life without computers. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, uh, Hugo, that. note to self, no more younger people <laughs> like this in, in the studio. Okay. That's right. It so makes us feel old. I grew up with the, all the technology. Yeah, right. Like we had a huge MacBook or a, a Mac desktop, like with the green back like yeah. in our garage. And like, I was... Like three, yeah. you know, so. So you're doing social media since you're three. Well, it's just like, I've had high level computer classes Good. all through grade school got and it, then high it, school. It. And like, I had classes where we used iMovie yeah. and different stuff like that. And so in high school I had an Instagram account. So I knew like, you know, well, I know I'll get the most likes if I post yes, at eight yes. o'clock on this time, because that's when I want to get the but most But does it on my completely selfie. transfer into real estate in, in your marketing of real estate? So. When I got into the business, I was like, what do I know? And this is what I do know. Mm -hmm. I know how to sell. I was, a, uh, I was in the restaurant industry. Okay. So I know generally sales. Yep. And I grew up in a negotiating business household. Like my dad's a public adjuster. Okay. So like I had tools. The social media was what I personally knew. And right. so I went to college for small business and entrepreneurship. And I took like a maybe a semester of marketing, right? Like not even because I left after. A I was going to say you didn't I'm finish that. You went because you didn't go to college. You didn't no, finish I went, college. I went you to went to college. Bucks County Community College for yeah. like under a year. Yeah, um, so it just shows you don't have to go to college. No, yeah, no. not that it's anything wrong with that. No. I'm just saying you don't have to. No, so yeah. I just I grew. I've obviously expanded my knowledge with social media. I've taken classes. I've read yes. things. I've tried things. I've created things on my own. Like I've learned. Obviously, from now till when I got licensed, I know more about it today. Yeah. But generally speaking, like, I kind of just made it up as I went along. Yeah, like, it's kind of what you do with it. I would post random stuff. Like, I'd be sitting in a training waiting for a class to start, and I'd just pull the MLS up, and I would just, like, type in, like, Bucks County, and that it would just bring up a 500, 5,000 yeah, yeah, like, list yeah, yeah. or whatever. And I would just take a picture of it and be like, searching for homes for my clients. Like, I look back at the stuff, it's so <laughs> cringy, but it's but, like, I had nothing to say. yeah. yeah. Like I literally just had to make it up. What have you learned not to do with with it? Like what politics what, and religion? Ab absolutely. And like yeah, that's pretty just much politics it. and religion. And yeah. I think that's that has been pretty much and the I don't even think I the norm that. from day one. I just didn't do it, you know. And yeah. people that do it always have issues. Yeah, of course. Well, it's because it's always. the one thing that people actually are passionate about. Nobody's passionate about what kind of coffee they like. I just like don't really care what your view is. In comparison to whether I'm going to sell you a house or not. Absolutely. And the other way around yeah. is much stronger, right? Oh, so like absolutely. I could follow someone that thinks so far this way yep. and like not agree with them and yep. I'll still sell them a house. Well, yeah, because we don't but say anything. I could think so far this way and that person might not want to work with me because I think that way. It's a 50-50. It really so, is. It's a 50-50 shot. I'm cool to just keep my mouth shut. Yeah, that's that. good. That's good. <laughs> so so the, the the podcast is doing well. I th It's doing well. It, it's a good show. And I'll tell you, you got to watch it. The reason it's I like it, it's very laid back. The thing that's funny is they actually drop the F-bomb sometimes, which I thought was interesting. But, you know, it, but that's okay. You know, it, there's nothing, it, that's the show. It's a raw show. It's awesome. It's really good. So you have, uh, which I noticed is you have 12,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, because I'm realizing now that TikTok is not easy to get followers on. It is and it isn't, right? Yeah. So, like, it could be something. Is it a so, snowballing thing? Yeah. It is. So it could be something so minuscule that skyrockets you to a, an astronomical number. Yeah. It also could be, like, you could go so long without ever getting that. Right. So, for me, um, in May. So, there was one, was there yeah. one TikTok that went, that you went from, like, zero to 60? Yeah. So in May 21, right before Labor or Memorial Day weekend, I was on my way back from the Jersey Shore to the office because I don't like to be down there during the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Chaos. No, it is very cool. Um, and I called my OP at the time, Justin Gall, and I said, um, hey, I'm coming in. Are you in the office? He said, yeah, I think it was like Wednesday. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I need you to record a TikTok with me. I'll be there. I'm on the expressway. Like, I'll be there in an hour yeah. or whatever. He's like, okay, cool. No questions asked because that's the kind of guy he is. Yep. Um, and so I walk in and I'm like, 
I'm going to ask you how many likes for you to give me an office space and you're just going to say a number and we'll deal with the repercussions later. Right, right. And he had just become like OP. Oh, geez. From By that. the way, OP in our language is operating principle. Yeah, I know. I get like caught up in the KW. Yeah, that's right. So we all do. KW has a lot of acronyms. There should be a vocab list somewhere. I think um, there is actually. <laughs> it needs to be posted for more it people. Does. It does. Um, so at the time he was just kind of like maybe the transition had already been a thing but like openly he had just yeah. really transitioned into that and um not that it really matters but I, I just said okay so i walked in and i'm like hey how many likes for me to get in office he said hundred thousand and i was like bet and no way that's how it was how wait, many likes so a day goes by and it's like picking up and I think what really happened was I got a lot of engagements immediately. Yeah. Now this is a different time frame, right? Like yeah. we're talking about still in semi shutdown. Yes. A lot more people home. Up, Everybody's people home. scrolling. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people commented on it right away. And I always engaged back with people in that sense. And so that was like the snowball start, right? Yeah. So I posted that and then a day later it's at like 75,000 likes oh my gosh and, and this him. is on which one is this on tiktok yeah holy yeah. crap so i call him and i'm like just like he's like on the expressway going to the shore now right and he's like i'm like dude it's at almost 100,000 likes like it's going that is crazy and he was like, oh my god like dane is now, he's like she's gonna shit like <laughs> like i can't believe it and like i'm not even in the video it's all him so like he's famous, like it's like oh my, my gosh. face isn't even in it. That's hilarious. So, but it's um, a, but it was it was a it's a test or not a test? It's it's a an experiment. Yeah. So you took on he took he allowed you to take on the challenge of yeah. this whole thing. So it got through as of today. I now I have to go look at it, right? You go, you know what I mean? Right, I know. You got, now I got now I got to go see it. As of today, has I think three point two million views and four hundred. I think last time we had looked at it, I think it was around. 480 something. Oh thousand my gosh. Likes. But that is crazy. Yeah. But that's how it works. Right. Yeah. So that probably got you. So I rode the momentum on that. Oh, absolutely. You you got followers from that because now all of a sudden I they think, got hey, like 9,000 followers just from that. Wow. Amazing. And then. And that's how it works. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of the, and I know there's a, a girl in our office here that has, um, has a lot of views on one of hers too. And it was something really crazy with her cat. Yeah. She actually videotaped her cat doing something and, and it just went crazy. It's never the actual real estate stuff. No, and she said, about. and now she's trying to recreate, but you can't recreate that moment. That's the thing about social media and things going viral. It's the dumb things, the things that sometimes you're not expecting. Now you were planning that or hoping that it would yeah. and, it, and it worked. Yeah. I mean, I kind of just, I actually think I saw a friend that was like, asked her mom for like a dog and was like, how many likes for us to get a St. Bernard or something? Right. And it got like 18,000 likes. And I was like. That's I'm amazing. I'm doing this. Yeah, exactly. And how do I relate this to real estate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So also, the other thing I see, beyond the social media, I saw on one of your things, you're an Airbnb host? Mm -hmm. What exactly? I mean, you have a place or yeah. okay, you have a place? My partner and I have a property in Florida. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. I saw, I think I saw that. Um, I saw a little house. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Is it blue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it. It's really cool. Do your research. What's that? You do I research. do my research. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm like a little creeper when it comes to, I like hey, if you're going to be in my studio, I need to know who you are, right? Yeah. I like ask six questions. I'm like, all right, let's just talk now. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. No problem. So uh, also the other thing I saw, I didn't know that you're the education chair for the uh, KWYP. Yeah. So we launched That's awesome. the first regional chapter, Keller Williams Young Professionals, which you can only be in if you are under 40. Under 40 and yep. in Keller Williams. So yes. You don't have to be an agent. You can right. be anything affiliated, but if you're with another company, you cannot be a part of it. Which I love. Um, you guys have fun. It looks like it's fun. fun. And you work, but just fun. It, like as far as work. Yeah, I, I know like, you do. There are we so many amazing individuals throughout the country that are in this organization that do massive businesses. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's it's impressive. Crazy. It's really impressive. So we for, we launched the first regional chapter in January 2021. We have about 120 members as of today. We have a board. Is Brett Campbell still in it? He is a regional ambassador, director yeah. or something. Yeah, or other. Okay. So he's, he's a friend moved, of mine. He's moved up. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, cool. He was the launching president. Yeah. Um, now it's Connor Talk out of Morristown on the Sam Lepore team. I know that name. Amazing person. Yeah, yeah. He'll be on my podcast yeah. soon. Um, but no, so we launched with nine or 10 board members. January 21, I was the social chair. So I did that up until about like three or four months ago. I switched yeah. into education. And the only reason why I did is because 
with my referral partners and like my national reach throughout the company and just in real estate, I felt like I could provide more value to the board and the chapter by being able to ask for favors of, can you teach this rather than running social media channels? And so we actually brought in, um, her name is Cheyenne Hoffman. She is out of Happy Valley. Oh, Happy Valley. I love Happy Valley. Yeah. Um, She is really good at TikToks as as well. She's killing it on the social media side. So I'm really happy to like hand over my baby to her because, you know, like launching it, it meant a lot to me that it like, you know, is held to a standard. So you actually train in social media too. I saw something on one of your social medias that you actually went somewhere to, um, uh, to actually train on social media. Yeah. So I started with that being said, what would you suggest if if that's what you're doing, your training, would you suggest somebody hire somebody to do their social media or would you suggest that they learn how to do it themselves from your point of view? So it depends on the person. Okay. Disc. What's that? (laughs) And their disc. And their disc. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, uh, it depends on the person. So I have, I don't have any currently planned or running right now, but I've done six week courses online. Okay. It's group coaching. Like there's six weeks. It's a different step. There's a couple of one-on-one sessions that are mixed in there. And a lot of times people will send their ops yes. or their admin or they'll go through the whole thing and they'll be like, yeah, this, this is great. Oh, yeah, I'm this not going to do me. it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just not going to yeah. do it. So yeah. I've had people send their like VAs okay, or like ask me to like yep. give the VA a game plan. Virtual assistant. It depends. It depends. Yeah, like, so it's the person. So someone can't run your personal Instagram right. or TikTok unless they're with you all the time. Right. Because they physically that need would get expensive. content. <laughs> yeah. That would get really expensive. However, if you have a team Instagram, you can very much put a system in place that if you call me, I'll tell you how to do. Yeah. Um, where everyone's kind of dumping into one area and then you divide and conquer and you can like leverage the team's Instagram to like for your agents to like use that for content and back and forth. And I've pretty much gone over that entire plan for a couple of KW agents. That's Um, cool. So you, if somebody from, from listening to this podcast is from KW or or wherever, and they want to actually employ you to help or to to do a class somewhere, would you still do that or no? Yeah. So I speak at market centers consistently. I've done Pittsburgh, two in Delaware beaches. I went to Cleveland. I've been on a panel in Chicago. I've done all over our region. Yeah. Um, Good. So I still do that and I do one-on-one coaching. Cool. So I only allow for 10 spots at a time just okay. because it's time consuming. Sure, of course it is. I do have a couple spots open, but I do offer one-on-one monthly social media coaching for yeah. agents and it's not KW specific. Like I have a lot of Remax friends and Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Hey, well, you know? same here. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not a I'm not a franchise specific yeah. I mean, I'm out to helping anybody I can. So yeah, um, the Cleveland thing was like a paid opportunity yeah. to go out and Yeah, speak I saw that. that. I saw that so. the whole thing of you going out there. It was yeah. cool. How does somebody get in touch with you? So Instagram and email is the easiest way. Best way. And you so, want to do your handles of, of each thing? Yeah. So if you want to reach out to me about coaching or having me come speak at your office or event or whatever it is, it's coachingwithjewel at gmail.com. And if you want to just check me out first and look at my Instagram handles or my TikToks, it's Instagram is J-U-L underscore the realtor and TikTok is J-U-L the realtor. So just Jewel the realtor, no spaces, no awesome. underscores. Um, Very cool. And everything else, like the podcast everything else is on there. So yeah, and you have that be- link tree too, which is very helpful. Yeah, I saw that's you know, like those are nice. Game changer. Those, Oh, you're telling me that was a be- great idea. If somebody, if I would say to you, uh, see you at uh, a bar somewhere and having a drink or whatever. And I said, Hey, you know what? Can you just give me one tip for social media of something to do or not do or something that's going to help me. And it's just one simple tip or one thing you'd say, you know what? Most people do this and they shouldn't. What would it be? Um, give people the information that they're looking for as right. quick as possible. So okay. bios need to be short and sweet. Yep. Who you are, what you do, and where you do it. Interesting. That was simple. That was very there simple. I thought it was going to be more complicated than that. You said the quick tip. No, that was a very quick tip. I thought it was going to be a little longer than that. That's exactly. I didn't mean that quick. That's what you need to do. I'm telling you. I, think no, about I how love many it. People have a bunch of emojis, yes. and a bunch of random stuff yes. in their bio. It has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. Exactly. I want to know where you sell real estate and yep. how to contact you. Put that immediately there. 
Very good. Face. See, look at that. The there secret sauce from Juliana. That's there right. it is. There it is. Thank you so much for coming to the studio yeah. today. I really appreciate it. That 20 minutes went by really quick. Don't oh, yeah. you think so? It's amazing. <laughs> Hugo, do you have anything to say? Are you good? No, just just learning. Man. Okay, yeah, awesome. Happy to learn. There you go. There's Juliana Gainsburg. She is from Keller Williams, Philadelphia, the social media rock star, of course. And listen to her podcast called Realtor-ish. Look her up. I'm sure she's pretty much everywhere you can find podcasts, right? I would think so. All right, that's it. We'll see you later. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.